my parents expected me to have a steady career a very like indian typical life at point you just feel like a screw that is just being tightened or loosened every few days it can get to your head that you do want to try something new i've always been creative but it's not a good career choice comedy is a serious business if you want success it will require hard work it will require sacrifice what if i just decide to do something different I think I can ease into it. I can get up in the morning without an issue. I know what I'm supposed to do today in the next eight hours or so. I work in finance in a typical corporate sales role. I think I'm very comfortable in my current job. I enjoy doing what I do right now. That's where I can see myself growing. But at the same time, I do like taking risks. I do like trying out new things. I don't see myself getting into the constant rut of things where I'm doing the same thing that I was doing 15, 20 years ago. My name is Devansh. I am 28 years old. My dream is to become a stand-up comedian someday. You're not a great as the no, metaphorically. Wait, 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 I'll let you wait. There is one kind of. I know that there are a couple of times on stage where I actually felt like some divine energy has entered me. Like you know. Ha ha ha! Push it, come on. The way I feel here is something I don't feel anywhere else. My name is Prashasti. I'm 34. I am a stand-up comic. The great thing about stand-up is that it, that you just need a stage and a mic. It if it falls flat on its face, the defeat is yours. But if it works well, the win is also yours. Any art form, you you become better if you experiment, if you take, if you push yourself beyond your comfort zone, right? Oh great! Uh, I don't know what that says about her. इतना कुछ छोड़ के गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया है यहाँ पे जो भी जाए हमको दिखाने ले आए। तो मजे ही आ जाते हैं। Today in the show we were recording. I'll be mentoring someone who is trying to become a stand-up comic. Okay, so uh, can can we have Devan share on stage, please? Yes. He doesn't know. He says, "Hold on, my guy. Come on, come on, come on." Full seat, like just two seconds before she called me, and I'm like, "Oh shit! I think I might have to go on the stage." And before I could finish that thought, I was on the stage. So that was a fun moment. That was a very exciting moment to see. You know, the see those dark faces just. Too many, just like people, eyes staring at me, just like you know, looking at me constantly, expecting something out of me. It was a very fun and thrill-seeking uh, moment. Devan, sure. Are you ready? Uh, are you shocked, by the way, or did you get yeah. some idea that this will happen today? I had no damn clue that this is going to happen. Devan, do you want to say something else here? Yeah, damn excited. It was a stand-up show. It was an improv show. It was a bad improv show. <laughs> When you called me on stage today, yeah. I like that there are so many people there and the attention like I was getting, like center of attention, वाली feeling. Oh, yeah. बचपन से ऐसे बहुत ज़्यादा validating लगती है कि ये ही चाहिए थी. But like, what is the aspiration? Do you want to keep doing it on the side, or do you see, like, do you actually aspire to make a career out of it, out of stand-up? Goal is to do it full time. Okay. But to start off with. बिकॉज अभी वो है ना दिमाग में कि लाइक घर वाले तो अलाउ नहीं करने वाले एक्सेप्ट ही नहीं कर अलाउ तो छोड़ो कर भी तो एक्सेप्ट नहीं करने वाले उस चीज़ को कभी लाइक दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी हैप्पी विथ इट आई वॉन्ट लिव इट एट अ पॉइंट वेर आई नो फाइनेंशियली एंड सोशली इट्स लाइक एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर मी वेन यू मेक इट फाइनेंशियली फीजिबल अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स गेट सॉल्व बट आई वुड से कि जस्ट ड्रॉप द सोशल एस्पेक्ट बिकॉज माई मदर विल क्वाइट एक्सेप्टिंग ऑफ इट नाउ बिकॉज फाइनेंशियली इज फीजिबल बट इवन नाउ आई नो That she would rather have me do a job, yeah. okay, have security. Because I've been there where uh, you know I again you know post MBA job paying well. There were three and a half years where I was absolutely happy with my job, and this was actually something I was wanted to do on the side. Mm -hmm. Then it became intense for me because I did I did comic stand, and after that for the first time, 
I hated being in office. Okay, like I can't bear being in office anymore. And that time, you will not need guidance. You'll already know that. Okay, अब मुझे करना ही है यार. Like when you are. I'm there. I'm yeah. those three years of yours. This I can relate to very well because she has been through the struggle long before that I have. I have no clue what's in store for me coming ahead. The whole experiment has been a surprise. I think I'm calling it an experiment now because I know it's an experiment on me. So I'm just looking forward to how this whole situation unfolds going ahead. I think uh, one of the biggest challenges in comedy is uh, to uh, actually tell your jokes to someone. When you start, you have to pitch your jokes to a friend. If you have jokes, if you, or if you have prepared a set, okay, yeah. uh, why don't you tell me the jokes, okay, and we'll see if I laugh or not. Okay, I'll be the friend for this okay. challenge, okay. And okay. this is this process is basically you bouncing your jokes off me. I have a set. Okay. I can start off with that. Okay, great. So yeah. So um, since I was a kid, the bachpan se I was a very big DC fan. You know, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. I just enjoyed how big they were. Their aura. That Superman is flying. Like Wonder Woman has this invisible plane. She flies an invisible plane. Or Batman signal pe atka hai apne bike pe. मतलब बच्चे आ रहे हैं tissue paper बेच के जा रहे हैं Batman को भाई uncle please खरीद लो दस रुपए का. Come on man, why are you even doing this? Stick to your bank job. Stick to it. Stick to it. You're happy at what you're doing. You have a good job, stable income. Why you even risk it? Why? Why you even risk it all for a silly dream? Are you sure you're cut out for this stand-up comedy or corporate? Which one makes more sense? That's it. That's the set. The challenge with the set is you've chosen a very specific premise, which is uh, DC universe, Marvel universe, right? And uh, if someone is totally on board with you. they ha they are as invested in the universe uh it becomes easier for them to follow it right but if it's someone like me or typically the audience that you will see in the show uh they are absorbing every piece of information for the first time the one thing we need to do is simplify the set okay and uh make it absorbable for people uh, i think if this was an open mic i would have bombed this was just like a a kid reciting a poem to his mom that was the feeling i was getting but i think ultimately it's going to be a good stand up set my family pretty much my extended family most of them have been uh, doing some of the other work in finance and accounting my dad he was very happy that i got into a finance job main bahut bahut mane proud karti hu कि देवांश मेरा बच्चा है और बहुत आगे है अपने हिसाब से वो अपने ये जो एज में जो आगे आया है उसने बहुत सारा माने स्ट्रगल भी किया है अचीव भी किया है छः साल उसको हुए ये कंपनी में और काफ़ी प्रोग्रेस भी किया है उसने I was that typical shy, introverted, big guy kid. That was just I think the only piece of identity I had and I did not like that. while growing up i just realized that hey if i can make people laugh that's a very rare quality to have main logo se baat karta tha ye plan bahut zyada aur fir comedy ho gaya if you sit with him every 2 or 3 minutes he'll crack a pun or he'll crack a joke or something like that sometimes they're lame but still funny <laughs> so yeah i think he's a very funny person <laughs> Part of my life, I think, whenever I try to have a conversation, uh, it's just drive in my head that I need to make the other person laugh. If I don't get my creative juices tackled, I just become a bit jittery. That hey, this is something I want to do. This is something I want to figure out. The second challenge is like you have to now use the same set. And go to random people on a bus stop. Okay. Don't worry if they laugh or not. 
I think this will more be a test of how you overcome that awkwardness of approaching a couple of new people and mm. pitching them your jokes. Yeah, I am worried for you. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, trust me, if I had to do this, I would have been petrified. But uh, let's see how you fare. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I'm Devansh. I know you're waiting for your bus. But uh, I just need two minutes of your time. I won't sell anything. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Like, you realize, right? Now he's Superman. Hai. Superman is a reporter. He's doing a 9-to-5 job. Kar wo. But he's doing a hero panti. He's doing a work-life balance. Chal hai. Uska, that's the dream. That's the Mumbai dream. You're a wonder woman who's good at everything. Who, who's that boss's favorite employee? Next year, he's doing a promotion. Bhi due hai. Of course, he has a long way to go. I mean, uh, for someone who's not been on stage actively, for example, you anyways, this is like, we are not even on zero right now. Whenever I go to a Marvel movie, na, I'm that guy who wears DC shirt every time. Every time. There's always a chance to fail. I can fail at everything. Getting into a field which I at least have no idea about, I think that's the biggest risk I can take. I have to go all in. I'm, I don't know what the end result is going to be. I do not enjoy the extreme uncertainties that come with it. So this is my set. Thank you so much. I hope you get your bus. Yeah, sure. Yes, sure. <laughs> Thank you. So that was fun. Everyone was supportive, thankfully. No one said no. And they were laughing? At some points, they were laughing. I could get some good feedback. At some points, I could see that they're not laughing. So that was also good feedback. That this joke should probably improve. I need to maybe, maybe get, give a bit more of context. And even I saw it from the side. It looked like you could hold their attention for all this time. It, I think so too. It, yeah. It could have gone like like very differently exactly. also. So I think uh, I think our takeaway should be that def there is okay. There is there is a certain amount of confidence yeah. that we can take that we, that can go on stage also and yeah. we can work with that. Quite honestly, I think this couldn't have been any better. If I knew what was going to happen, I would not have enjoyed it. But since I have no clue what's going to happen, I'm on my seat all the time. I'm biting my nails, just sitting, what's going to happen next? And then it just gets better. It just blows my mind every time. Like, you just saw my set. It's very PG, it's very family friendly. But uh, what are your thoughts on doing sets that are, that are political, that can be a bit risky, people might get offended? The offense is something which, 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 which is a package deal with jokes. Yeah. Any society, any culture, any country can happen. The problem here right now is that sadly, the way our laws are, certain laws have the kind of ambiguities that can be used yeah. against you if certain people take offense against you, right? You need to have the kind of craft where uh, you, you say what you want to say but also in a way that nobody can raise a finger on it. Are you ready for your uh, final challenge? Yes. Most basic stepping stone of a stand-up comics career, but also this is going to be a great challenge for you. You will have to perform on stage. You will be opening for me today. Okay. Plan ready? Yes. Exciting. Okay, I'll see you on stage then. Yes. Yeah, great. All the best. <laughs> And it is quite likely to happen that anything goes on stage, the jokes will not work. Even if they're the best jokes, they will not work. But there are people who have a sense of humor, or who, have, who can laugh at themselves, who can take a joke, and there are people who cannot. And I think that sort of makes the difference between someone who has potential to become a stand-up comic or not. One, okay, great, great, yes, we're ready. Okay, start clapping. And please welcome Devan Chonte. Hello, guys. If I told my parents that I become a stand up comedian, the first question is going to come how much money are you going to make out of it? Why do you want to do it when you have a corporate job? I want to get to a point where people are coming to watch me. 
लाइक यू कैन क्लियरली इमेजिन कि बैटमैन जा रहा है जूहू सर्कल पे अटक गया सिग्नल पे रिक्शा नहीं जा रही आगे सवारी के लिए वेट कर रही है पीछे से अटेंडेंट आ रही है भैया आप अट्ठाईस साल के हो क्या हो गया एस सुपरमैन पलट के जवाब दे रहे हैं हाँ लेकिन कर मोमेंट के लिए मेरी माँ भी तो जिंदा है थैंक यू एवरी वन प्लीज वेलकम बैक प्रशस्ती ऑन स्टेज I knew I had to deliver lines. Lines were ready, punch lines were ready. The response I got from people, even though minimal, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like that was something that I needed to push myself to go ahead. Standing and facing an audience for five minutes, uh, when you've not done it, uh, it's a big deal. There's a base, basic comedy instinct. that i think he has there is some amount of confidence that you know makes him stay on stage the only thing that needs to be seen is grit right that if he keeps coming back for more humiliation <laughs> that is what typically uh, makes a good stand up comedian or not yeah i think these have been the most exciting days of my life uh, till this point at least like it has been filled with excitement a lot of fear as well i was like enjoying every moment of it I don't want to swim with the crowd. I want to be special, and that's what I'm hoping to achieve with comedy.